Recent incidents involving Shahid-136 and Shahid-131 loitering munitions entering the airspace of NATO member states have raised questions about the alliance's response to the increasing risks posed by Russian aerial threats. Poland and Romania have experienced frequent incursions of these drones during Russia's ongoing attacks on Ukraine, and on September 7, Latvia became the latest NATO member to face such an incident when a Shahid drone crashed near Ruzekin. Despite these incursions, NATO has refrained from taking decisive action to actively intercept Russian drones or missiles over member states' territories. This hesitation likely stems from concerns about escalating the conflict, as indicated by Latvia's defense minister who downplayed the significance of the Shahid crash in Latvian territory, asserting that Latvia wasn't the intended target. However, the likelihood of future incidents appears to be rising. General James Hecker, commander of U.S. Air Force's Europe and NATO Allied Air Command, recently warned that Russian drones and missiles could enter NATO airspace more frequently. This projection is linked to Russia's plan to deploy an additional 180,000 personnel in Ukraine, many of whom will be hastily trained, increasing the likelihood of operational mistakes. Hecker explained that the introduction of poorly trained recruits raises the risk of miscalculation. He suggested that these incursions might be a byproduct of human error rather than deliberate provocations, stating, if you grab folks off the street that haven't been conditioned and trained in military operations, the risk of miscalculation mistakes goes up. He cited recent incidents in Latvia, Romania, and Poland as examples of such errors. However, the notion that these incursions are merely mistakes is debatable. NATO's interpretation seems to overlook the possibility that Russia could be deliberately exploiting these drone flights for tactical advantage or reconnaissance. In fact, Russian reconnaissance UAVs have already been spotted over NATO territory, including the sighting of an Orlan 10 reconnaissance drone over Germany in August 2024, flying near critical infrastructure such as a decommissioned nuclear power plant. Despite these concerning developments, NATO's response suggests that Poland, Romania, and other affected countries are not likely to receive directives to actively intercept Shahid drones anytime soon. While the incursions could be viewed as provocative, NATO's leadership continues to approach the situation cautiously, seemingly opting to avoid direct military engagement over member states' airspace unless a clear escalation is involved. General Hecker also highlighted the need for enhanced air and missile defense systems across the alliance, using Ukraine's experience as a model for innovation. He stressed the importance of equipping NATO air defense units with cutting-edge technology capable of detecting and neutralizing Russian drones. Acoustic detection methods were specifically noted as a key focus. Ukraine's Sky Fortress, a sophisticated network of approximately 9,500 sensors designed to detect hostile drones by analyzing their acoustic signatures, was cited as an example of successful drone defense. This network provides real-time data to military commanders, allowing them to respond rapidly to drone threats. General Hecker emphasized that NATO member states should invest in similar technologies, pointing out that the U.S. Air Force has already demonstrated an acoustic detection system at Ramstein Air Base in Germany, where it performed effectively. Demonstrations of this system have also taken place in Romania. NATO's current approach to Russian drone incursions remains conservative, with no clear mandate to intercept drones over member states' airspace. However, the growing frequency of such incidents, combined with Russia's continued use of reconnaissance UAVs over NATO territories, could prompt a reassessment of the alliance's defensive posture in the near future. The adoption of advanced air defense technologies, like acoustic detection systems, is seen as a crucial step forward. However, implementing these solutions will require significant financial investment and political will from NATO member states. As General Hecker suggested, it's time for more countries to pony up and commit resources to bolster their air defense capabilities. Given the current trajectory, NATO will need to adapt quickly to mitigate the risks posed by increasingly frequent drone incursions. While the Shahid drones may not have caused any military escalation yet, continued tolerance of such incidents could leave NATO vulnerable to future threats, both from miscalculation and deliberate provocation. The need for proactive measures, including the interception of drones and missiles over NATO territory, may soon become unavoidable.